hello hello it's Lauren here just popping in quickly today to share with you my January 2018 project life month now I'm really excited to share this with you I am not a project lifer and this year I've decided to try and make a bit of a commitment to document my year in the pocket style but I definitely have not put the pressure on myself to think that I have to definitely document each week by week so I thought the way that it's achievable blah, 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 achievable for me is that at the end of each month I just go back and print off some photos that has been have been meaningful for me over the month and pop them in and well the theory was I just pop them in quickly and do a bit of journaling add some pretty touches and there it would be done so when I went to, with this theory in mind, I took on January, I found there were oodles of photos and memories that I wanted to capture. So the theory just kind of flew out the window. I definitely have not done a week by week. I sat down and did January in one block. I had hoped it would be one day to complete January. But it ended up taking me three days to complete January. And I'm hoping as the months roll on and my skill set in working in small pocket sizes improves, I will hopefully generate some speed because <laughs> I certainly didn't think it would take that long. And I had to go through a bit of a transition. I had a couple of little meltdowns. I had some laughter I had a bit of craziness but in the end I settled on to okay I think I know how I'm going to do this so I want to share it with you if you like it and would like me to do some process videos on how I create pocket style pages let me know in the comments I have not done one before and I do not profess to be an expert at pocket style scrapbooking but I am an expert at what I like and the my style of scrapbooking and what this month documenting this way has told me about me and my style. So if you like my style, please let me know and I'm happy to do a you know project life little playlist of some videos and I'm happy to check in with you each month and show you how the month prior has come together and what I've used. Now I've created some of my own little Project Life filler cards and I just did this on the Rona Designs app. I wanted to have a bit of consistency throughout the year and I wanted to be able to write what I wanted to write. So that app was really perfect for me just to come in and make some filler cards and then I was able to add some embellishments and some features on top there to give it that little bit of, little bit of flair. So here's the other months that I've got ready to go and so it's as simple as printing off a photo and um, I may be able to demonstrate to you at the end of this how I I'm, I might make a couple for you so that you can see how I print it and that it's really quick and easy so here's January so the consistency in my well, the plan for the consistency is to have these filler cards and also majority of my photos will be mounted on a white card stock. And that's because I, I found with my style of pocket, pocket project lifing <laughs> is that I felt that the photos might get a bit lost because I just wanted to add lots of pretty features, lots of little delicate things. Um, so I wanted to add those, my photos, most of them to be mounted in white so it really centres in and we're drawn to those photos of, as well. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea or you've got some other ways of making those photos pop and not get lost. I've done some, I'm going to hand journal um, on this. I did think about using my typewriter but one, I thought this might be a time saving, time saving you know, strategy. And the other consistent feature that I want through the whole thing is I'm going to be using this L Studio uh, stamps date stamp set um, just to add those 
updates all through my album. So that's there in my little goodie box, which I'll show you in a little bit. So let's do a little bit of a flick through. Here we go. So as you can see, you can see that they're quite busy. And I, I love each of them and I loved working on each of them one at a time. Um, they are full of lots of little things which I think when you're looking at it it's lovely to check out the detail and check out the um, the titles and the headings and the little accents and the little pops of journaling. Look at my little sleepy puppy. Oh she's so cute. These two, these two are just so cheeky. I will get up in the morning and often this is what I'll find. Little Missy still fast asleep and this one snuggled up in her. It right beside her, fast asleep as well. Oh, cheeky. Two cheeky little girls. So here's one of those title cards that I've created myself. And then I've just added some cardstock there and a little flower just to accent that. There we go. Some of the photos I've put a little doodly border around. Um, some I haven't, some that I found that, that didn't need that. This is another little one that I've printed off and then just accented with little, little scrap pieces of paper. And here's this one. Sorry if the lights are reflecting on the plastic. I'm hoping that you are going to, you're going to be able to see it. Um, and, you know, hopefully it looks really good. I think that's a tricky thing about pocket style scrapbooking is photographing it so everyone else gets to enjoy it. Here's, I, I'm going to have to get used to being more mindful to take more portrait style photos. Um, but I found that there's some photos which are landscape or horizontal that I was able to sort of just trim and cut and turn it into two pockets there but still give the effect of one full photo. So obviously I wouldn't slice down his face because I think that that would be quite significant there but sometimes when you've got a bit of blank space you can you know cut that section there and then you'll still get the, the feeling and the effect of a horizontal photo but in two portrait style pockets. So what do you think? I had to pinch this one off my Mr 18's Snapchat or Instagram because he doesn't give me too many photos but I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to sneak onto their social media sites and do that. Here is our Australia Day weekend celebration. This was lots of fun. Myself and my family went away. We hired a home and had a great pool and a great atmosphere and we did lots of fun things. And so I just captured, I wanted to capture this. I, this these cards here and these embellishments and paper are all from a Planner Society kit collection um, monthly subscription that came and I just thought these deep colours and the the feel of these um, floral accents you know just gave me a bit of an Australiana kind of feel and to incorporate that I've used stars on some of the as some of the little details just to represent our Australian flag. Now Unfortunately, I didn't get to spend some time with my mother on Australia Day as we were away, but she, um, someone took this photo of her and shared it, and I thought, well, I wish I'd been with her, I wish I'd been with my family, but we weren't, but I still wanted to capture that. I thought it was a beautiful photo, and each year she makes a lovely cake, look at that cake, it's the shape of Australia, and... Um, and so I want to capture that as part of my project life. So I want to I want to do that through. Then this year is going to be full of majority of my moments and my family's moments. But I want to capture other special moments of my extended family and include that in there so I can delight in them when I look back on the look back on the on the weekend or the time. Here we go. Here's just some pool time fun that we were having. There's another one of my filler cards that I've made. 
and yeah I've done lots of layering I don't I see if you can notice that lots of sorry um, lots of layers just to build it up but they're they're not too fat I'm trying to stay away from any embellishments that have d um, dimension um, the puffy sticker there is like the puffies are as, as thick as I'm going to get there won't be any flares or things like that otherwise I know that my album will be full before I know it this here um, these photos were just so sweet and I captured this of my daughter and her little dolly that she sleeps with and then I caught this one of my Mr. 14 don't tell him don't tell him I'm showing you this because he does not like his photo taken off yet <laughs> love you baby um, and then my Mr. 18 who's just chilling out there but I just wanted it to be simple not over the top so I've used a, just a card that I've made just chilling and just cut some pieces there just to make sure we're drawn to the photos and not overdo it with the with the embellishments um, and I think I really love that I think it turned out really well that one's lovely oh this was a fun day and the way I've you know done this jam packed full of color and pop and embellishments I think just emphasizes how fun the time was we went and saw the soccer and then the next day we went and saw the basketball so these are the um my husband goes for brisbane raw and we follow the sydney kings in basketball so we had a lovely time away watching those professional games and i've added i don't know if you can see that but i've added a title that sort of runs down the page and I just thought it was really bold, but it like it screamed what we were doing. We were all just having fun. We we're all supporting our teams, and it was a real yay moment. Um, so yeah, so there we go. I've added a circle sticker. This is another couple of landscape or horizontal photos that I've used, but there was a point where I could cut them down, so I was able to sort of give this piece one. I created kind of this piece before cutting it up um, as one section and then it all just fitted in perfectly there there's my little cheerleader who loves to dance here's daddy teaching her how to disagree with the ref's decision <laughs> and I'm sitting behind them looking at this you know mini me um, yelling out at the ref and just like just like daddy I was I had a good giggle over that and here we were at the basketball yeah and then to finish off January was my little dolly's first day of school so I once again I've created one of my filler cards and I've just added some mounted photos and done some journaling on a card and I don't know if you've noticed the dates I've you know popping them through and hopefully by the end of the year that will be the con a consistent feature as well there so there's January let me know what you think let me know if you want a process video I'm happy to um, I'm happy to put those together um, I don't know if I'll be as quick as some but hang in there with me and um, and then we'll uh, see how I go see how I go that's all we can do as long as we're having fun and being crafty and delighting in our memories I think that's what it's all about so as you can see I've done a 9 by 12 this is a 9 by 12 size so I wanted to share with you now how February is looking and how I, I've decided I'm going to put each month together so at the end of each month I'm going to print off the photos of the month mount them if they need mounting in white and then pop them into their sleeves in the order that I think I want them to go so I'm not doing this week by week I literally wait till the end of the month and then I start printing now the printer I use is a printer called a Canon selfie and it the the wonderful thing about it is I can be in the lounge room watching tv and I can be sending photos from the lounge room into my office and it's just sitting in there printing them out in the right size ready to go 
So it is a 4x6 printer, so it prints 4x6 standard size photos like these cards. And then I use the Project Life app and put use the template where I get two 3x4 cards and insert it in there and then print it as one card and trim it, mount it, and we're ready to go. I hope that made sense. I know that was a lot of blah, 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 blah. But hopefully I might get a time to demonstrate that to you uh, at a later date. But, um, or hang on, I think I can, here, maybe my selfie will come over. But this here, if you can see it, is a Canon selfie. So it's just a little, like it's tiny, like that's, that's in my hand. And it's like this. There's newer models. Um, I don't know if they're bigger or the same size. I think the screen was bigger. I don't even really use the screen though, because I'm in the lounge room watching TV. Oh, it's very dusty. Um, yes, so this is it. Um, you can pick them up at in Australia at JB Hi-Fi and you can get the paper packs online um, and I, I've been really happy with it. I'm happy with it because it's convenient. Um, so I've just thought I'd just quickly show you how Pop February does. So obviously my monthly filler card's going in there and then I've just popped the photos in where they're going to go. So literally like that. See? So there they are. I'm leaving my um, holes there for journaling, for accenting. This, I have to tell you about this. Oh, oh look. All right, I'm not going to show you too much because I'll share this with you at the end of the month. But I just wanted to show you that this is how I sort of do it. So I now know I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my goodness. 10, 11 pages in February to create. Lucky I'm having a scrappy girls day tomorrow with some friends. <laughs> but um, so that's how I kind of put it together. And the other thing that I think I'm going to try and keep up is being organized for it. So I've got these couple of boxes here that I have popped my essentials for pocket style or project life scrapbooking in and um, I think if I just keep these two containers wherever I go I can just pop on over and grab these go for a scrappy girls weekend I just need these two containers and has everything in there that I need to um, you know start completing some layouts well they're not layouts but you know pocket pages <laughs> All right, so I thought I'll show, share with you a little bit about what's in here. I these are my I've just cut up white cardstock in the three by four. So when I get my photos, I can just trim them and plonk, mount them on there because that's the theme that I want to go with. I have recently I'm loving the six by eight paper pads from Crate Paper, so I've got a couple of those to do some borders. And I definitely maximise all those little scraps. Um, so keep your scraps, tuck them in and out is what I recommend. What else have I got in here? There's my title cards. Now these sticker book, this craze with the sticker books. Thank goodness this craze with the sticker books is happening when I've decided to do Project Life. Because these bad boys make everything easier. Now I know... Most of them are kind of got a plan, a feel about them. But if you have a good look, there's a few that have a lot more stickers and embellishments as opposed to plannery stuff. So this, I picked up this Heidi Swap one here. And all these little things just help build each of those little pockets as they go. So I really love that Heidi Swap one there. And... This Maggie Holmes one to coordinate with all the papers. So you can pick these up in Australia at the Spotlight stores. They're tricky to get hold of in the sense of if you particularly want a Maggie Holmes one, you might have to go to a few Spotlights before you can get your hands on one. I think the Heidi Swat ones I've seen pretty much in every Spotlight, but it's um, certainly tricky to get hold of them. So keep an eye out. They're great value. I think they were about 16 16 or $17, um, but they have a zillion, zillion stickers in there. 
Um, this one, 1,163. Hyde has got 1,502. A zillion. Perfect for pocket style scrapbooking. This one here is by me and my big ideas. And so it's a similar thing. It looks very similar, even feels similar. So I think they've been made in the same factory or wherever they get these things made. So once again, that's nice and bright um, and perfect for adding a little sticker or an embellishment on. I picked up these the other day. These were at my local um, office works and I grabbed these. There's 30 in there, little speech bubbles for journaling and they were only a dollar each. So I was stoked about that. Some alphabet stickers and they were like three dollars. So once again there was a zillion in there and if I can use that on a few pages throughout the year, once again it's giving that consistency throughout the album which I want to try and do. How cute are these little speech bubble things that I found? These are about three dollars as well and I think you get a couple of sheets in each packet and check these out. How cute are they? I'm going to love journaling on them. Super cute. Oh yeah, so for our local Aussies, you can pick those ones. I picked those ones up at Officeworks yesterday and thought I'd won the lotto when I found them. Um, I shared with you these. That's going to be my um, consistent date stamp throughout the wall. This here is the We Are Memory Keepers Whole Reinforcer punch and I use this on all my tags. I am, I've got a bit of a tag craziness going on and I use these um, for journaling as you would have probably seen when I showed you just then when I showed you January and literally just punch them out and then you can pick your own colours, uh, coordinating colours and then you just adhere them on and it just makes your tags just that little bit special and a little bit more, you know, a little bit more you, a little bit time consuming. Um, but definitely worth it if you just like those little features on there. Now to stick it on, all my little things I stick on with this range of glossy accents and I picked this up at a local scrapbooking store. Oh, hang on, I don't know, it's probably stuck together. But it just keeps the whole, look at that, oh it's leaky. Oh, yeah. I don't know, it's, not meant, it's meant to not do that. I better keep it upright. I'm just going to clean that. I think I'd better clean that. If I can find something to clean that with. I'm just going to give that a bit of a clean. Good old baby wipes. What would we do without baby wipes? I know. Essentials for mixed media. Okay, I'll get that off my finger first. Then we'll go from there. So, obviously, it's... Those cute little things mean that it's not sealed. But I do like that idea of having one of those on my glossy accents because I can put just a little bit of adhesive around. I'm using the Jet Black Stays On ink for my date stamps and some double-sided tape for mounting my photos, which is good. Where's my block? These I thought were really cute, so I'm looking forward to using these on throughout the album. This little kind of hole ring, well, it's like a, the top of a notepad when you rip it off, but it looks a real cute little feature, especially if you're layering up in different colours and you kind of want to just sort of blend that the difference and not have such a harsh line. A little punch like this just makes, makes it all right. Here's a little pencil case and I've just popped in there um, my Stadler fine tip different coloured pens like that. My favourite pen for journaling at the moment is this Artline, oh, it says Artline Drawing System and it's the point two. The point one um, used to be my go-to but then I don't know I think they ran out of point ones and I like the point two now. I don't know. I do have a point five and a point eight for more detailed things and it's nicer maybe a point five or a point eight to do doodly borders because it pops a little bit. But for my journaling, because I like to write a fair bit in a little space, point two is a go for me. Obviously some scissors to trim up um, my 
when I'm mounting stuff, I'm not going to drag out my 12 by 12 trimmer for snipping and cutting different layers under there. I just, I'm trying to be very careful about, um, you know, just minimising stuff. I'm trying to be, you know, a little bit, you know, just want, I just want everything to be portable. If I want to take it somewhere, I want to be able to grab the album and two, two things and go and do it and not be worrying about trimmers and all sorts of things. I just want to grab two little buckets and I think that's key for that will make this achievable for me. Here's some Heidi Swap stickers that I picked up and I thought they're nice and maybe in Australia's cooler months, um, they're nice and warm. So I picked them up to pop into my box some Heidi Swap Gold little stickers and these are the Maggie Holmes um, sticker sheets which are full of lots of little pieces but because I'm kind of like leaning towards this colour palette I knew that I need to get a few of those um, a few of those to help me through the year uh, that one is a I don't know just some little puffy stickers from is it Fancy Pants? Oh yeah, fancy pants. So how cute are those little titles? And they kind of matched the... They kind of match these. So I'm sure there'll be a month where I grab hold of those and use them. I also picked up, which I wanted to have a good look at, is a couple of these storyline packs. Now I know that you can pick these up um, from... Scrap and Clearly, which is an online scrapbooking store here in Australia. I haven't seen them in Spotlight, um, but it may be just my Spotlight. I know Spotlight does carry a lot of Heidi Swap, but I haven't seen any of the storyline stuff in my local store. But Scrap and Clearly, if you're interested in this storyline, which it looks fabulous, um, and the idea behind it is, you know, really good if you're time poor and you want to just document quickly. Um, then this is this is a great idea. So I'll let you know um, as I'm going through how I found Storyline and incorporated it into my pocket style pages. So I hope that you've enjoyed my little talk through. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Oh dear, some pages just fell out. Let me know um, if you've got any questions. Give me a buzz. I'm open to learning, so please um, tips and tricks for me too. I would love. I'd love to hear it more and also if you've got any pocket style um, scrappers that you think that I would like let me know who they are in the comments because I'd love to follow some that um, you know have a similar style to me. So take care, um, keep scrapping and thanks for tuning in. Give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my goodies and you know keep scrapping. Stay happy. Bye.